either an email or something in the mail or there's something along those lines, right? Okay. And this is going to be validation for you that um, uh, the angels are giving you uh, on point information this evening. Okay. Okay. Um, and also, why is she pining for somebody? She's really missing somebody. Um, My dad. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a family member. And um, she's <laughs> she's. Um, She's feeling left out because everybody else seems to have experiences uh, with him, you know, of him uh, 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 making himself known in a dream or, you know, signs and everything. And she's feeling like left out. He did. He came to my son this past week in a dream. And he died when my son was rather young, but he was as clear as day to okay. him. So, and she knows of this, right? She heard this? I don't know if, he told, if she told. Yeah, I don't know if he told her. I have to find out. Because yeah, I told him. I said, John, he came, Dad, Grandpa came to you. Yeah. He said he was just watching me sing, Mom, because he likes oh. to sing. Yeah. He was sitting um, there So you said to kind of feel, tell her not to feel left out. She's going to have That's why she's at Teresa tonight. Yeah. And she's going to ask Teresa, experience? why isn't he coming to me? She's going to have her experience. I agree, um, yeah. And um, I don't know that it's going to, I don't think that Teresa's going to pick her to read. But I do feel that um, she's going to ha have the experience uh, around Christmas, uh, which is next week. OMG. I ask. Um, uh, which Bye. is next week and um, uh, in, in a dream. Okay, so uh, then she'll, she'll be good. Uh, that's going to be like her Christmas present, you know, which Wonderful. is lovely. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome so much. Ah, that was a good <laughs> exhale. We love those. And hopefully we can give Stephanie on the phone some uh, good news. Stephanie, are you there? Yes. Hey, another fabulous Capricorn. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Fabulous. How can we help you? I um, just wanted maybe a little insight on my career. I'm a bit of a crossroads right now. Yeah. That seems to be the theme for, for tonight. Capricorns, yeah. Right? Well, even maybe 2015, there's a lot of changes coming. Yeah. Um, I'm getting you working from home, so it could be sending resumes out or different things like that. But you do work very well by yourself. You work better by yourself than you do with others. So I would look for you to either work in front of a computer or you know something where you could actually work on your own. But if I look at February, you get the job job of your dreams. Nice. Yeah. So you're going to do really good. Stephanie, are you um, working in, the, in a corporate environment right now? Yes, I am. Okay. And in this corporate environment, are you considered like a managerial position? Um, well, I was until a couple months ago, and our division closed down. So I'm back at our corporate office, kind of um, they created a position, and I'm lost. Okay, um, so the angels are showing me this corporate thing, and that you were a manager, and then uh, all of a sudden you're like, you know, floundering, like, where am I? Why? Why did I cut my hair? I look like a squirrel. Okay, um, it, it's like you feeling displaced, and you're a Capricorn. You need structure, and you need to be in charge, and you need to be running things. And right now, uh, do you feel like they're just making you into a paper pusher? Yes. Okay. And they're saying, oh, no, nobody puts this baby in the corner. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. And um, uh, so I agree with Tracy that the job of your dreams is right around the corner. And February, March. I was getting February, yeah. Yeah. So um, uh, I'm uh, really on board with her with that as well. And I think you need to just exhale a little bit, sweetheart, and, and try not to worry so much. Realize this is temporary. Okay? And okay. I, th I think that um, oh, what you're learning is how, how good you really are. And what she really wants. Yeah. That's what she has to figure out. Yeah. So yeah. It's, um, it, it really is going to be a fabulous new year for you. And we don't want you worrying. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thanks you're for welcome. calling, Stephanie. Have a great holiday, sweetheart. Thank you. You all, too. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. And now we have another fabulous Capricorn at the <laughs> microphone. Sue Ferrari, thanks so much for coming tonight. Thanks, Grace. Thanks, Stacy. <laughs> Tracy. 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 Okay. <laughs> Tracy Williams. You have a, a question for Tracy? Um, I guess my boys. I have two sons. Okay. And um, wait, your first name again? Susan. Susan. And the youngest son, what's his name? TJ. TJ. And what's the oldest one's name? Freddie. Freddie. 
Um, first off, Freddie teases TJ. <laughs> That's the first thing coming up, you know. So if TJ says that, he's telling the truth. Okay. <laughs> Freddie's very quick witted, very smart, has your smile. I see your mouth, so he totally has your smile. He's very charismatic and uh, he's a people person. So he's going to do good. Anything schmoozing, you know, making people feel comfortable, happy. I'd love to see him in business, advertising, you know, anything like that, just because of his personality. TJ is unusually smart. He works problems out in a way that most people can't. He's a problem solver. You know, so he's good in like engineering or different things where there's like figure out how to get this and this or how to get something up into space, you know, because you only have this much room. Like he could figure all that stuff out and his mind works very different than everybody else's. So you have two amazing boys. Thank you. And um, TJ is going to have a lot of kids. I see four children for him. Oh, so, yay. That's yeah. great. <laughs> You're going to need more arms. <laughs> so. And a very nice household. Do you have another question? Um, I guess my husband. What's his first Fr name? Fred. Fred. Or Freddie. First off, your husband loves you so much, and um, he'd marry you all over again. You're a fabulous cook, you're a fabulous wife, you're a fabulous mother. But the thing I like about the most about him is he respects you as a mother, and he appreciates how much you've put into your boys. And he really gives you all the credit. So. It's pretty on target. Yeah, you, got a, you, have, you have a great husband. You're very blessed. Thank she you. She is blessed. I have to... Uh, uh, be blessed with knowing the fabulous Ferraris, as I refer to their family, and they're just all good looking inside and out. And um, the love, just, yeah, yeah, the, the love, love there. And, and what about Bailey? What right about, back at you. <laughs> <laughs> what about Miss Bailey? Yeah, Bailey, she's six, my Yorkie. Okay, the dog. Okay, she's, I love the dog. <laughs> yeah, she's the love of my life. I just want to, it just hops around. My only, <laughs> my, my only little girl. Yeah, a little so. show dog. We should have the dog up here. Yeah. Um, Bailey's adorable. I get nothing but good things for your little dog. I see it healthy. I see it having a long life. TJ, he favors TJ. So I get the dog kind yeah, of. Yeah, they're very connected. Yeah, yeah. and it, it's just that kind of, you can't tell. You know, it's like a soulmate type thing. And, um, and you're very organized. I mean, you just, you always have everything ready, like, you know, dinner is ready. Everything's like right on time. And that's it. I, I do on time management. Yeah, that's so it hard to do. It doesn't get done before. It doesn't get done after. It's it gets right done there. Right yeah. And Bailey's like a just a little lovable, shaggy, yes. you know, adorable dog. But he's got a nice long life. So. Oh, great. Good to hear that. Yeah. yeah. All good things. Thank you. And my mom. I have a. What's your mom's um, first name? Diana. Your mom can be a little difficult sometimes. Um, sometimes critical, you know, about, I can't imagine how she could criticize you, but <laughs> you know, just, she just sometimes can be a little critical. She worries a lot, and um, she worries actually about how she's going to, going to be on her own. She doesn't want to go in a home, so you, right. you will eventually have her with you. That's and, my plan, one yeah. day, one day. And she doesn't want to be a burden on anybody, and she wouldn't be, she'd be an asset to your family. So tell her it's a gift, not, it's not bad. It, it, mm -hmm. You would want to do it. So, okay. yeah. and I have an autistic sister, Amy. She's my older autistic sister. Are you saying artist? Artist? Autistic. Oh, autistic. Like okay. Autism. Um, she's really psychic. I get she's really psychic, and I can feel her. You know, she just doesn't get it out. So we have to find a way for her to communicate things. And also, if she draws or she uses her hands, she writes a lot. Yeah, then the information is kind of coming through her. Mm -hmm. So maybe while she's doing that, ask her a question. You know, ask her a question, and then she'll give you an answer. But it's that motion that lets her thoughts Thanks. process through. But she's very psychic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it flows with the energy. Yeah. George Anderson did a lot of automatic writing, uh -huh. and um, uh, that's what uh, the purpose is. And maybe not so much. And sometimes it was just scribble. It wasn't right. even an actual word. It was just something to distract the left brain so the right brain could that's, flow through with the information. That's very interesting because she's always asking for a pencil and paper, and she has a book of her own words she makes up. She just Yeah, her own language. Her yeah. Own, yeah. Ask well, her what the words mean. Yeah, she's talking yeah. to the angels. So mm -hmm. it's um, when she converses with the angels, it's... it's um, and I agree with Tracy. If you ask her what it means, she'll she'll give you the definitions mm -hmm. and explain it to you. Absolutely. Okay. okay. And one one last question. Yeah. Me, my health, and me, and you worry too much. You worry a lot. And um, if you didn't worry and take a deep breath and relax, you you have nothing genetically wrong with you. Mm -hmm. So it's all just worry and anxiety and the stress of life. 
you know, your mother and your father gave you great DNA. Okay, you don't great. abuse your body. <laughs> so you're in very good health. Thank you. This is great, thanks. The best is yet to you. come. I'm not done with you. You uh -oh. speak. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. And birthday girl. Okay. Um, uh, your upcoming birthday is the 28th. Um, I, I really want to say happy birthday to you, and uh, it is going to be a very happy birthday year for you, Sue, um, that finally a lot of recognition and uh, things uh, opening up that have been, I, I don't want to say that the doors were closed to you, babe, I, it's just that they were half open, all right? Vroom, vroom, vroom. You know, the universe is going to start, um, you know, you're just going to be like Loretta Young twirling through the doors, you know, um, making your own way there. And um, reinstating um, a, a business venture, right, um, that uh, was on hold, okay? And you're fi that's finally going to come, uh, come through and, and be flowing and be brilliant for you. And I feel that they're going to be, uh, they're telling me five, okay? Five ways that uh, businesses that you're, you know, uh, going to bring money to you. Um, I want to say that your book is either you're going to revise it, okay? Um, and uh, have you already talked? I about have that? to interrupt you there because my twin sister just reached out to me last week on a text and said, "I think all you need to do is rename your book and get it back out." because it's all in the title, she said. So okay. It's interesting. So right, we were so thinking of t new titles. There you go. Yeah. So um, that it was going to be revised, and it will be. Okay. And, um, and I just met with my editor, who helped me edit the book, for lunch uh, two weeks ago. Bingo. And I didn't even know that. Right. Okay. Um, all right. So it's um, the angels giving you the, you're doing the right thing, babe. Right. All right. And it really is going to be brilliant. Okay, for you. Um, also, that there's something to do with you and uh, singing, and um, <laughs> and either the, the the making an appearance somewhere. And uh, I know this sounds crazy. No, it doesn't. Did no. somebody ask you to sing? Well, my twin sister is pr professional singer. She has an amazing voice, and I just bought the Sing Tricks karaoke. Um, makes you sound really good, and we we've been singing with it a lot. Fabulous. And recording ourselves. Fabulous. <laughs> Somebody's going to ask you to like sing it at an event. All right? It's going to be awesome. Hold on to that. I don't mm -hmm. know where time goes when we do the show, but Sue, you know, we get like in the, the time. Line. I know. That's <laughs> great. And um, before we uh, end the show, I definitely wanted to thank uh, Tracy and uh, can't wait to read her book, Blinded by Vision The Secret Life of a Psychic. And um, that, uh, you know, that you were brought. Uh, to us through Sabina because she was talking with Joanne at uh, uh, an event somewhere, we don't know, but uh, we're always where we're meant to be. And so we were blessed to have you here tonight. Thanks Thank you. Her. It Thanks. was, it was my blessing. So.